Sometimes you got to take a break and you got to do things different and you got to realign. Today, we're going to talk about how we're going to do that together. You can be a man of courage, of honor, of integrity. You can be the father, the husband, the leader that your family and your community needs. This is the Manlyhood Mancast. Here's your host, Josh Atcher. Gentlemen, welcome to the Manlyhood Mancast. I'm your host, Josh Hatcher. And today, I'm going to cast a little vision for you. I'm casting a vision for you because I'm having some issues with my vision. And I'm not talking about uh, long-term vision and goals and that kind of stuff today. Well, I am a little bit, but I am talking about my actual vision. My eyes have been giving me some problems. And I've got some work to do to get them right. And so we're going to talk about what that means for manlyhood, what it means for you, what it means for me. Some of you guys are aware that I've had some health struggles in the past couple of years. One of those struggles has been uh, my eyesight. I've actually got cataracts and I have this weird condition. I don't know if you can see it if you're watching on YouTube, but my pupils don't dilate. They're always tiny. They're pinpoint. It's a genetic thing. No real answers as to what causes that. My mom has it. My boys have it. My daughters don't. My brother doesn't. It hops around weird in the family tree. But because of that, there's sometimes complications with dealing with what's happening in my eyes. So I've noticed over the past year, my prescription has gotten progressively worse. My vision has gotten consistently blurry. And I went to the doctor. They finally figured out how to dilate my eyes. They never could. So 43 years, they finally got into my eyes. Um, They used amlodipine. No, that's my blood pressure medicine. (laughs) They used atropine drops in my eyes and made me take them for a couple of days and it opened up enough, not all the way, but enough that they could see in there. And when they saw in there, they saw cataracts. So they sent me to a specialist who could handle the pupils and we're starting to talk about surgery. So by the time you're listening to this, I may actually be having that surgery or in the process of it. But what that means is that I am going to take a little break The doctor says, you've got to have surgery. Here's the problem. And this is me being real with you, being authentic with you or vulnerable, if you want to use that word. I haven't done the best job at taking care of the rest of my health. So while at one point I had lost 100 pounds, I've gained some of that back. And when it comes to working on your eyes, there are some restrictions with how the surgeries can be done. So here's Where I'm at, the doctor says, if we're going to do a cataract surgery in our surgery facility here, you'll be laying down flat. And if you're laying down flat, then we can go into your eyes and we can fix the problem. But the problem is you've got to weigh X amount and be at a certain amount BMI. If you're over that BMI, there's a risk that something could rupture. So in order for us to do it at this facility, you've got to be at this level in terms of BMI. And, and when I told them what I thought my weight was, they calculated my BMI and I was good. Uh, a couple days later, I happened to think maybe I should double check and I stepped on a scale, on the shipping scale at work and I realized I actually weigh about 40 pounds more than I thought I did, which means I'm over that threshold. I gotta lose 40 pounds in the next month. <laughs> so I reached out to, it's actually about two months when I'm saying this, probably by the time you're hearing it, it, there's a little more time. But anyway, I've got to lose 40 pounds so that I can get my weight back down where it is. And really what this is doing is this is awakening in me the fact that I have not 
been taking care of myself the way I should. So here I am. I'm telling you how to be, you know, a better man. And, and in some ways, I'm working on that. In other ways, I'm not because I'm slacking off. That literally is life for all of us. I'm not saying that to excuse it, but that's where I'm at. There's some parts of me that aren't where they need to be. One of them is me taking care of my health, using food to comfort myself, avoiding the pain that it needs to work out. Yeah, so that's been an issue for me my whole life. It's been a struggle. So the doctor basically says we can send you to this other facility where they have the surgery where they can tip you up at an angle. There's less chance of a rupture with your BMI. But you can't get in for several months. But if you can lose the weight you need to by this date, we can do the surgery. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm going to go whole hog into getting healthy, at least enough to be able to get to that point, get the surgery done. And then I'm going to go back into whole hog mode so that I can be less of a hog <laughs> and I can lose some more weight and I can get healthier and I can be happier with my body, doing what it needs to do. I can function better, have less pain, be able to do what I need to do, and I'm going to be consistent with it. But right now, I'm definitely in high gear. So I tell you that story because, one, it's going to affect things here at Manlyhood. What I'm, I've got many, many interviews in the hopper that have been recorded, and I've got a few more that I'm recording this week. So Every week, we're still going to have an interview show. I don't anticipate an interruption for our interview show that comes out on Thursday. I'm going to try to work ahead and get those edited so that we're working ahead. But our solo shows that we typically do on Tuesday, I'm going to take a break from those. So when you're seeing this episode, just know you're going to get one podcast episode a week for a little while. Uh, while I take and reinvest that time into getting my life back on track in the right direction. I start getting healthy again and I start getting my eyes fixed so that I can see. So at some point you guys will see me on here and I won't have glasses anymore because I'll be able to see without them, which is kind of a cool side effect of having to have the surgery. So yeah, there will be some changes here for manlyhood because uh, there'll be a break for me. Uh, hopefully it's not too long, maybe a couple months, uh, maybe a month. But that's only in terms of the solo show that we do on Tuesdays. The weekly interviews are still going to go because, like I said, I've got several of them. I've got quite a few weeks in the hopper for those. So they're going to keep coming at you. But that's only part of the things that this affects because really what this affects is me. Really what it affects is my life. And I'm recognizing and I'm seeing that if I am going to be the best version of myself, if I'm going to be better, if I'm going to be a better husband – I need to lose some weight and I need to get healthy. If I'm going to be a better father, I need to lose some weight and be healthy and set a good example about what it means to make sacrifices and do the right thing. If I'm going to be better for my community of men that I'm reaching out to here because you'll be able to see that I have put the time in and put the work in to show you that, yeah, you can do it. You can fight like hell to protect yourself and to make yourself better. So that's really the heart of it. That Those are the things that are motivating me. My hope and my goal is my eyes are fixed. I'm coming back to you and you're going to see some progress in me. And then you're going to continue to see me progress. And I'm going to need all hands on deck to help hold me accountable and encourage me and push me in the right direction. And I'm here to help you and do the same. So yes, we're all fighting different battles. They all look different for each of us. For me, this issue of getting my vision fixed is priority. You know, you can see up ahead of you. And as you move forward in your life, your vision moves up ahead of you as well. So you're always seeing ahead. You're looking ahead for what's next. And there are things in your life like cataracts or comfort food or internal pain or whatever it is that you're allowing to put a scale in front of your vision, a cloudiness in front of your vision. Honestly, having cataracts, it feels like somebody dipped in my glasses and milk and I'm trying to see ahead to see where I'm going and I can't see very well. That is true of not just my eyesight, but that's true of life. When these issues that we need to deal with that we're not dealing with properly start to cloud over, they make it harder to see up ahead, to see your vision, to see where you're going. So 
As I'm working on me right now, I want to encourage you to work on you in the same ways. You know what it is you need to work on. If you need help with it, join us in the Manlyhood Man Cave on Facebook. It's a private Facebook group. Talk to us. Put it in there, guys. I am struggling with this, and I need to make it right. I need to set it right. I need to go in the right direction. I need to take care of it. And the guys there are going to encourage you and help hold you accountable. That's what we do. I'm asking for the same guys. Check up on me. See how I'm doing. Am I eating right? Am I getting exercise every day? Am I moving forward so that I can lose the weight so that I can get my eyes fixed so that I can see? And then after that, I'm going to need that same encouragement and same help. And that is how we are going to get better if we lean on each other to push each other forward and build each other up. So anyway, guys, I will miss this. I will miss you for a short amount of time, but I'm going to be back soon for more of these. In the meantime, please keep checking out our interviews that we do every Thursday and keep helping us spread the word about what's happening here at Manlyhood. I love you guys. I care about you. And I'll see you next time. If you want to be a better man, check out our website, manlyhood.com for blogs, videos, and more from our Manlyhood team. Men, you can also join our private Facebook group, Manlyhood Man Cave, where you can meet up with a band of brothers who will challenge you and help you on your journey of manhood. This episode is produced by Hatcher Media for Manlyhood.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the show. Tune in again for more of the Manlyhood Mancast.